Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Killer Slacker, and today we are back playing Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. And once again, I'm joined by Donated Hawk, also known as Alabama, or known as Wild Gamer, depending on where you're looking at. On Twitch, he is Donated Hawk896. On YouTube, he's Wild Gamer, and he used to be Alabama. But he's here with me once again. What's up, everybody? All right, let's get into this. So we're in Hazard Off. Uh, proceed to... Okay, visit the equipment room. Why can't I use this? Some action our first time out. Be careful what you wish for. It's like, literally, if this door would have opened, I could have walked right into the armor. Yeah. Here's something I really like about this uh, game. Yeah. Just for no care or reason. Wreck everybody. Well, we're, we're going to get back into the facts wow. of Star Trek. And so we're going to get back into the facts of Star Trek. Oh, yeah. Um, did you know that William Shatner has never watched the series? You're kidding me. <laughs> no. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> How can you no. participate and not watch it? Even I watch my videos. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's weird. It is not that uncommon for actors to not watch their own work, but this could not be very heart could be very heartbreaking to the very trekkies. The star, the star of its hit show, hasn't bothered to watch one episode of his work. He quotes, I have never watched Star Trek, the actor said in an interview. I have not seen any of my Star Trek movies. I do not watch them, watch myself when I direct and have to look at filmed scenes of myself. I suck. So he was basically saying that he did not like it, did not watch it because he himself uh, he was a bad actor did not like his work and I think anybody that's watched Star Trek will know this possibly I don't know but did you know that Stephen Hawking is the only person to play himself on Star Trek I didn't what episode was Stephen Hawking in he was in the episode Descent, where the Delta, Albert Einstein, Sir Isaac Newton, and Stephen Hawking are playing poker, having a pretty much oh, the jokesters of all. I remember that episode. Yeah. I did not realize that. That is insanely cool, actually. While Newton is a total buzzkill, you can find out who wins the game by watching the interesting scene on YouTube. <laughs> so what I might do is I will find the YouTube video. Sir. Question. So yeah, we're going to be here a little while. I don't know why, but these guys have yet to move along and get on into the game. I wonder how long those scavengers have been here. I don't know. I'm surprised they managed to survive this. <laughs> Thank you. 
there's the video of them playing poker. We can put it in the description. That way people can figure out who won. Because I will not give any spoilers on who won. Uh, uh oh. I broke the game. Oh wow, I, I did not know this. Um, you broke it, 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 they didn't. How did I do that? Because I thought I closed it, and, oh, there's this specific little area you can stand up in, and then you're stuck in. <laughs> Alright, do I really have to go listen to everyone's conversation? Like, where's the last yes. few people? Here's one that I did not know, and it's kind of weird. Did you know Eddie Murphy turned down a Star Trek role? No. I didn't even know they went to Eddie Murphy. I didn't either. <laughs> the, community, the comedian has a long list of awesome projects under his belt. But that list is a missing one huge one because he turned down, according to... I am Spock. Paramount offered Murphy a contract to star in Star Trek movie. After his success on Saturday Night Live, Murphy was open about wanting to be a part of the franchise, so multiple scripts were drafted, but he was, was not impressed with what they came up with. He instead, instead started in The Golden Child, and the writer switched the movie's Tone to be more serious and wrote Star Trek for the vo the voyage home. Wow. Energize. Take me with you. Don't leave me with hey. Shell. No. <laughs> Don't leave me with him. Now here's one that me and you talked about off the recording. Spock's skin was originally going to be red. Energize. Yeah, that blew me away. That blew my mind. It's like red skin for a Vulcan? Yeah, literally, when they're supposed to be green. <laughs> In the original television series, the iconic character could have looked a lot different. Gene Roddenberry pictured Spock with not only high eyebrows and tempered ears, but also red skin. According to Trek FM, this plan, however, fell through after the screen test showed that the red came off as jet black. With the black and white televisions, they, they, they then made the switch to yellow, which came off as green on the screen. So his skin color was yellow. It was? Yeah, because it said they they then made the switch to yellow, so his skin was yellow. So he was going to be more like Data. Yeah, but it came out, came off as a green on the screen. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Give me just a second. Okay, I am back. Alabama? I'm back. Look, look at this. I found a way to exploit the game. 
again. First with the board. Now with whatever these things are. Now for the last fun fact, until I find more. Which I don't know if any of these can top it. They just stopped the attack. Spock and you theory. Yahora Wow, I said her name wrong. Was supposed to have the first inter interracial kiss on US television. Yeah, it was Kirk and Uhura that did. It was supposed to be Spock. That is insane. <laughs> the series will forgive forever go down in history for having the first international kiss interracial kiss on American television in 1968 yeah the kiss was between Captain Kurt and Lieutenant Uhura I keep saying her freaking name wrong but originally the kiss was supposed to be with Spock but once William Shatner got a whiff that history was going to be made without him, he immediately got it changed. But Shatner saw, Bill Shatner saw what was going on. Michelle Nichols said according to Blaster, and he said, woo woo woo, woo woo woo, woo woo woo. If anybody is going to kiss Lieutenant Vera, it's going to be me. Well, he was portrayed in the well, series as the uh, ladies' man. And he had the whole thing changed, so the first interracial kiss was with the lieutenant and Captain Kirk. After it seemed like he was really nervous and wanted to make the scene perfect, <clears throat> Bill wanted to. <clears throat> wow. Bill wanted to rehearse all the time. Continued Nichols. He said he want, wanted to get this right. I said to him, "It's right. It's right. I promise you, it's right." And the camera was shaking, and the director was laughing his head off. He, we really had a good time. So I think it was more of. Captain like Kirk fell in love. Yeah. yeah. That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, I hate this part of this level. So, that wraps up the fun facts of Star Trek for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and now Alabama can see why I hate this part of this level because there's those little firefly things that repair these and I like to destroy these. Oh, let me drop down. No, 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 let me, let me out, let me out. Ah, there's too many of them this way too. Try this one. Success. I survived the encounter. Quick save. You know what? Peace. You guys can deal with it. Pimpa, no.
Alabama. Si, senor. What is that? I have no idea. Neither do I. If anyone can tell me what that thing is, I would appreciate it. Give me some extra health. Let's grab some extra ammo for this weapon. It's back! That's weird. <laughs> it came back! <laughs> I thought I weird. destroyed them all, so... Transporter! Ooh, now, I this am gonna say... Fun. My favorite weapon in all Star Trek... would have to be the phaser. I think I know a weapon that might change your opinion on that. When we get it, I'll uh, tell you because it is absolutely amazing in my opinion. Jill, All right, I'll be right back. The right place. Positive. Maybe the aliens got them. Boop. Looks like our scans weren't quite thorough enough. Hey, Jill, I'm gonna jump. Catch me. <laughs> yeah. Stolen crewmen. Look, Monroe, we've got to deactivate the shields before we can beam out. The data we downloaded from our console indicated there were three main sources. Through there. We'll, well everybody it's 25 where I'm at right now, but it feels like 15. We'll meet up at the main power core and shut it down. My dog just hit a button on my keyboard and paused the recording for a second on me. We'll meet you at the power core. Yeah. Behind you. Yeah, right now the temperature is 25 degrees outside and it feels like 15. And it's supposed to drop down at 19 degrees. And you don't want to know how cold it is here. Points. Look at that, Alabama. Look at that weapon. You know what that reminds me of? What? You remember the uh, plasma rifle? Uh, From uh, Halo? Yeah. I think that looks like. That looks more like a brute launcher to me. The brute uh, shotgun thing? To me. Okay, yeah, now it does. Well, you had it in a weird angle when I was first looking at it. Yeah, well, yes. it's actually a living creature. What is that? Like oh, it's how I go over to it. Look at it. It's actually breathing. Oh, that's weird. And it's a shotgun. And the sound is just... They really did good in, the, in this game with sound. Do you know what you should have done before you went in here? What? Computer, red alert. <laughs> Technically, I still could. You should. You really should. Computer, red alert. Well, they know we're here now. Computer, cancel red alert. Because <laughs> it, it, it would fit into the situation you were just in. Shell, you can stop saying that or I will destroy you. He keeps repeating, well, they know we're here now. And it's like, they knew we were here ten minutes ago. Oh, this is so sad. Are you watching, Alabama? Looks like another of those yes. transporters over there. All right, let's go. No. What happened? She just disappeared. Tilsia had just died field. from that pod. There's no trace of Telsia. It's as if she was completely vaporized. There was nothing we could have done, Chell. We better get a move on, or we might be next.
So yeah, uh, Chelsea is dead. Chelsea. Telsia. We shall mourn the loss of Telsia. That's it. The computer. It is that thing that's that. That must be this ship. Go on. Open up that door for me. I know I need you up there. Yeah, is there anything else we should talk about, uh? Oh, that one? I can't jump down the court from here. The main controls are on that upper level. But I think I found a security sequence for that door. Hold on. Um, other than I just watched the uh, outcome of the poker game. That I was talking about with Stephen Hawking, Isaac Newton, and Einstein. Yeah. I found the outcome. Let me guess, keep talking about it. Don't say it aloud. Why do my theories always have to be so wrong? <laughs> they had some pretty interesting conversation, though, in the poker game. <laughs> Just look at how overpowered this phaser is. See, I always love the phaser. Oh, it's good. But there's a weapon out there that uses dilithium that is so much more powerful. Like, the compression rifle? Good for sniping. This just completely wrecks these guys even on hard. Unless you run out of ammo. Phases back up to full power. Look at that thing, Alabama. It's trying to hide from me. Look, you don't see me. You're wrong, I do. <laughs> vaporized you. Quick save. Dang it, right there's what I need. Some of the hops keeping the jump away from death, and there's a lot of those little things we don't think we Ha ha! I still cheated the system. So are you supposed to come over here and use this to teleport in to shoot that? And I just completely bypassed that completely. And if I had had uh, some dilithium, I would have just used a grenade. I believe it. <laughs> it would make sense. <laughs> as weird as that is, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> yes, except you spelled Vulcan wrong. Oh, I did! Oh, no, 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 I'm deleting that conversation now. <laughs> Don't worry, no one will ever see uh, your horde mistake. 
I have spelled that right the entire time we've been talking, and me finding fun facts, and then I just misspell it on Discord. <laughs> That's hilarious. You and where's Telsia? She didn't make it. Oh, I just popped my back, and it felt amazing. We'll be in the back. No, what's bad is I was uh last night looking up images of Spock. And I have never misspelled Spock to save my life. And I was so tired because I had been up just researching different images and stuff like that. And I misspelled Spock. Wow. I'm not even sure if I actually know how to spell Spock correct. S P O C K? Is that right? Keep it together, Chell. It's just you and me now. Hello? Uh, yes. S P O K. But you know how I spelled it? How? S P O C K. That is how you spell it. Yes, sir. No, it's S P O K. Seriously? Everywhere I've seen it, it's always had a C in it. Nope, it's always S P O K. That's how it was originally supposed to be spelled. My brain broken is now B. Wow, this went from a Star Trek gameplay to a Star Wars gameplay. Immediately. Look at those things. What are they? Somebody tell me these. <laughs> I told you what they are to me. <laughs> yeah, except this is, has nothing to do with the Vulcans. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alright. You... Go down there, okay. It kind of makes you wonder, though. Gets this transporter before anything else. After I grab the dilithium and the weapon energy. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> if only there were some of those fireflies in here to fix this thing. Chell, while I use this teleporter, they're fixing. You can fight off the things they're about to spawn in because they're gonna go fix stuff. Oh, dude, look at this. Look at me. I'm so stealthy. <laughs> Stealth mission. Hitman Absolute. There is actually a stealth mission. Who fired? You are horrible at this. You're supposed to protect me. I'm the main character. Everyone's supposed to run away when they see that. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I'm screen sharing when you get a chance. Uh, I can see it over out of the corner of my eye. But why though? You know what that is? I can make 50 guesses, and I know at least one of them would be right, and I don't want to talk about it on the stream. Or on the okay. Like, I'm just saying, it, 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 just, just think about what I said, and then think about that picture. I mean, you know, uh, uh. <laughs> did anyone else just see that door glitch on me? I did. Yay, we gotta leave Chell behind. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yahoo! 
Goodbye, no one's gonna miss you! Unfortunately, they kill Beesman and then, uh, leave the chat. Unfortunately, yeah. But at least Beesman goes out like a boss. Beesman goes out like a champ. Okay, go back to this weapon. It just carves through these guys. You might want a quick save. Good idea. I realized your health. Oh, I knew what my health was. Okay. This part is very hard, because you want to destroy that. But look what happens. Hey, look at me, I cheated this system. How many times did you fell that? Uh, like 20, I think, the first time I did, because I kept trying to shoot that and run across. And then you know, I, I think, realized that you had to destroy something else. To wait, away. I just realized something. Quick save, I want to try something. Okay, shoot the node. And then sprint across to the node. But keep shooting it. Oh, keep shooting. Good idea, good idea, good idea. Uh, where's my latest save? Right there. If you can do it just right, you could do it. Ha! Again, I am a speedrunner's, like, information guy. <laughs> You'd have to get it down really well. And, uh, could you search up and see if anyone has ever done a speedrun of this game? Yes, I can. He had to stay behind, but he's okay. What happened to your team? I thought you were all killed. No reason. Alien things overwhelmed us, but I managed to get away. Now we've got to move on if we're going to salvage this mission at all. That looks very interesting there, uh, Alabama. That really does. Well, I'm looking at your screen. Because I'm, like, going back up. <laughs> Oh wow, did I skip every freaking thing? I think it did. Oh wow, I skipped over everything! Hey, Alabama. It's I don't know if that you can see weird. it too well. Who is that? All here. I could not see that, like, clearly at all. Maybe, Maybe Telsia, the person who well, we right. came here with and we ended up the dead? Then we can beam them all out. Or is she? Truth is, she is. I don't believe Telsia dead. ever died. Yeah, no, there's only one character ever killed in this, uh, setting. And this, right here, guys, you wanna know the best way to beat this? Speedrunner's best friend, Burp Way. You b-hop and get away from there and kill yourself in doing so. Works every time. That is just the Elite Force, right? You're on the first one? Yeah. Gotta go save Beesma, uh, Foster again. Where's Joe? He had to stay behind, but he's okay. What happened to your team? Uh, yeah. Yes, there is. Speedrunners that speedrun this. How fast? One hour, forty-one minutes, and twenty-six. What is this place? 
What are they? Elite Force Virtual Voyager Speedrun 10 hours. Virtual Voyager is different than what I'm playing. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, Star Trek Elite Force. Okay, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. You're not doing Elite Force. Yeah, you are. Four hours, thirty-six minutes, and four seconds. Uh, I don't know how long it took me to do mine when I did mine. I didn't do a speed run, but just my casual playthrough, I think, went pretty quickly. How, how fast would you say I did it? Like five hours, maybe? If that. I, uh, I just did stupid this again. Thankfully, this time I had a quick save a lot sooner than the last one. Oh, see, here's where they messed up. What? I just read their description. <laughs> What's their description? I mean, court down. He must still be alive. Game is played. Hang on. Got to get them out of there. Right. Just, just lost it. The <laughs> Says one of the best Star Trek games. Well, at least on release, and it hasn't aged too well. <laughs> Game is played on easy to, in order to run through and experience the narrative. I perhaps should have played game first, so I didn't get lost. Ten years since played the game for the first time. I'm not sure if the game is displaying correctly. I had issues with the GL render and modern hardware. Different opening DL versions fixed some things and broke others, but hope the video. Isn't spoiled too much because of it. Okay, I'm recording using extremely new tech, and even the first time I used the same exact computer, different microphones and other things. But literally, it records and plays perfectly. I have had to do nothing to get this working. But yeah, I mean, he sped, he sped running. I think me and he was actually just playing and talking when you did it. And you didn't like, I think it was like five hours and some minutes. Yeah, and I wasn't even trying. So Literally, we I was just might. going off of memory. That was the first time I played that game in like 20. Well, not 20. I'm almost 20 years say, old. I was about to say, good God. Uh, it's been 15 or more years. So, I mean, you definitely got the speedrun capability. Yeah, I went through that just off knowledge of what I remember. Some areas I got lost in. Not all. And yes, the graphics haven't aged too well. But the gameplay is so unique. If they did a remake of this game, I would be buying it. I don't even care if it had crappy uh, voice acting to do the, the fixes. I would get the game, no matter what, if they remade this. Lieutenant, it's good to hear your voice. What happened over there? I'll explain when we get back. Let's just say we've made an ally. But we have injuries. We need to beam directly to sickbay. Stand by. No, leave Chell. Leave Chell. Sickbay has the wounded. We're ready to beam you back now. They didn't leave Chell. bad out there for a while but we got the job done have the doctor look at you and then join me in hazard ops 
I'll be assembling the rest of the team for debriefing. Yes, sir. I don't care if your hemorrhoids are crying. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the episode here, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Later. Thank you.